Hello everyone. In this lecture, we are going to take off for trench excavation and column pit excavation. Let's get started. I'm using a template to take off. So we're going to take off for the trench excavation first using the area method. Trench excavation as the name, the depth. For us to get the depth, let me show you how I sketch out um, the depth of the foundation. So now it has been specified as a structural engineer. From the structural drawing, uh, there is a tie beam that connects all the foundation together both externally and internally. So now, this is a part foundation and this is the footing. The footing is under the mem. I sketched this out practically on site, I mean, so that we are able to use it on site practically, not that we just fixing two to five mm thick for the footing because most of contractor doesn't use this 2 to 5 mm site. When you get to site, some, some of them can even use 50 mm, which is wrong. But or an mm or 150 mm is more advisable. It depends on the soil tests that the structure engineer carried out on site. They are able to determine. Um, the thickness that you're able to use for your footing and this project is just a three bedroom flat a bungalow so that's the reason why I specify this one mm thick for the footing and the structural engineer we drain we have to do we have 250 mm as column base and 50 mm for the blinding so now we are using Four, three numbers of block starting from the footing to the surface of the tie beam. One block with mortar gives us 255 mm. 255 mm. So from the drawing, we have, let me show you. Let me first cancel this one. Yeah. This is it. We have 250 mm for the column base, 50 mm for the blinding. So according to this drawing design, it shows that we have 50 mm all through as the footing. That is why I change it. I even ignore it for the footing, but I maintain it as um, column base blinding. As column base blind the hair. So now, for to determine the depth for excavation for trenches, so we add up 100 mm. Oh, yeah, good. There's a mistake here. I've already changed it from this 100 mm to 150 here. So now, good. That's so that for us to excavate for trench, we add up. 465 mm plus 150 mm it serves as this 150 mm serves our footing that is addition of the two give us 615 mm back to our plan shift so now let's start with the to take off for the um trench excavation click on it 615 615 check this we have record mode box you can use box if you like you can use you can use point to point 
this point to point means i've already explained all this from my first video you can check it out this you just pick it from one point to the other which will take a lot of time press escape for you to continue click on this next click on this to change it to box drag it can you see that just try to check your left hand side left hand side column sidebar the quantity you keep increasing in cubic meter can you see you have 9.8 air can you see you have 11.3 so let us round it up that will be fast So we are done with the trend excavation. When you are done with this trend excavation, just click on escape. So the total volume is 76 cubic meter. If, uh, if you want it to show at the bottom of the um, column, at the column of the page, right click let's show the gent so now they are done with the column with the trench excavation the same process are going to excavate for the columbus the cost check the size of the columbus you have one point one meter by one meter one meter by one meter Yeah, okay. We have different type of columbus. Yeah. We have one meter by one meter. We have one point one by one point one. So let us check the one that is one point one by one point one and one meter by one meter. Total numbers of it. So now yeah. One point one by one point one we have one two Four, five, You have five numbers. Five numbers of 
1.1 by 1.1 so good I have five numbers so let us check the total number and the dot five from it in order to determine the 1.1 by 1, 1 meter by 1 meter column base so now 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. So 28 minus 5, that will be 23. 23 numbers. 1.1 1 meter by 1 meter. Columbus. What, let's check the depth for our column base for column pit excavation that will be 465 plus 250 plus 15 give us 7 give us 765 okay so our depth is 765 click on Column pit. The name is is there already. Column pit. So how many numbers of column pit do we have? Let us say for column T one. T two one means column column pit type one. How many number do we have? You have twenty three. Twenty three. What is the third? Is 765 that will be 0.765 mm. Click OK. 1.1. So it's on box mode already. Just pick it and drag it. Press escape. We have for the 21.2 uh, oh the mistake there's a mix up we have five numbers of this not 23 we have five numbers of this five numbers that is for pencils cubic meter so let's speak it again type two we have 23 numbers that is 0.765 mm. Pick one of the type 2. Pick it and drag it to this side. Press escape. Give us 18 meter cube. So that is how to excavate for trench escape. That is how to take off for trench excavation and um, column pit excavation. Thanks for watching.